Hi, I'm Rick Crane from Angler's Artistry, and welcome to the Painting a Skin-Mounted Rainbow Trout DVD. And I'm just framing the base of the tail. Now down to our ventral fin, I'm going to leave that little tip white as well. Same thing, just going to paint some fingers on there. Yeah, we just leave that tip nice and white. Okay, and this is a mustard green color, they call it. And it's a pastel as well. And I like this color because it kind of gives a, a nice stain or a nice interaction in between that yellow. Now I'm grabbing my brush and I'm just pulling it in, in wispy little directions. Now I'm using a, uh, a moss green. And I'm going to hit right up there at the, the tip of the, the mandible there. Just take your time when you're putting these spots on. Again, jump around a little bit, you know, work in rows, but uh, you don't necessarily have to do them one right after the other. I find that to be a little easier. Um, what, I, what I'm doing right now is what I call fill-ins. I'll come in and I'll fill in little, little areas that, uh, that I deliberately leave open sometimes. And again, some fish, that's, that's as far as you want to go. But we're going we're gonna to frame in a, a real nice stripe here. Now I've established the thickest point of the heights as we talked about um, in our introduction here and, and what we're going to do is we're going to bring this forward. I think one of the hardest things to do sometimes is to make sure that you hit every single one of those spots that you see through the skin and what I often do is I'll finish my spotting and then I'll come back you know in an hour or so and then I'll take a, a new look at it with fresh eyes and and uh, hopefully if I if I missed anything I can catch it I can see it almost for sure I, I always miss a few is we're gonna put on what is known as a bridal coat bridal coat is when we allow the acrylic from our gloss here to marry into the acrylic from the paint a lot of times we've used nothing more than raw paint pigment on the surface of this fish which doesn't have an acrylic added to it so for sure if we don't want our paint to separate we want to bond our acrylic to our paint surface. 